All right, we're here to talk about two uh, Idris Elba movies that just came out. Weirdly enough, I saw, I went to the movie theaters twice in a row, um, like yesterday, technically Wednesday and Thursday, and I saw two Idris Elba movies. So let's let's talk about them. Let's talk about Beast first. Um, I went into this with expectations were on the floor. It was just kind of like, hey, let's go see something. Uh, me and Cam wanted to go to the movies, so just why not? I have money. Let's just go. I need something to review. It just, you know, the cards seem to align. And I, I like um, monster, or not monster movie, but like creature features, survival stuff like this. Um, I don't know. This looks better than The Fall. I'll say that. That movie looks like completely dog ass, and I do not want to see that. Um, so, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not going to see The Fall. Just... I, I, that's, this, is, this is like a little rant I'm going to get into really quick. Um, I, I Sometimes I just, I'm not going to see bad movies because I know they're going to be bad. Um, I don't have any examples from this year because I feel like I've just seen everything that's come out. But there's just some stuff where I'm like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to get into that at the moment. I, I'm, I'm good. You know, like there have been movies in the past like last year, I, I skipped out on a decent amount of bad movies just because I was I was just like I don't need to see this. I'm good. I I, I really don't want to. So uh, that that that'll happen sometimes. So like if I don't review certain movies, that's that's kind of why. But Beast, it didn't look great. It just looked it looked fun. And you know what? It was. I got exactly what I wanted out of Beast. Uh, I don't have too much to say about it. It just elbow was pretty good. The environment was really fun. I really liked a lot of the visuals. The cinematography in this movie was really well done, like exceptionally well done, to where it bumped it up a grade. Like I, I, I was initially going to give it a, a, the grade below that I was going to give it, and kind of give it a negative review. Just like, eh, this is a little boring. This was a little meh. But uh, no, the cinematography in this really saves it and and the tenseful moments i really did enjoy um a lot of the action-packed stuff in here the stuff with a lion and the conclusion i liked the fight scenes you know just what you would expect getting out of, of a survival movie like this i liked it the script was really really bad it was very weak and it didn't give the characters enough to do so they just kind of spouted um reactionary dialogue a lot and that really bothered me i just i don't know it um didn't fully click with me i'll say the dialogue in this movie but you know what i didn't expect it to i did not expect this movie to nearly be as good as it was honestly um it was just as as much fun as i wanted it to be and and um was a little shocking with how uh, great the cinematography was and you know idris elba is idris elba i he's one of my favorite actors working the date uh, even when he's in bad movies, I really like him. And this is just an okay movie that he was really good in. So yeah, Beast is going to get a light B-. minus. Uh, I, I liked it. It was a fun little survival movie. Um, that's all I really have to say about it. The movie I really wanted to talk about that he was also in is the new George Miller film, um, 3,000 Years of Longing. I was very excited to see this. I saw two trailers for it. I actually saw a trailer for it while watching Beast. It's like, we need to go see that. I, I didn't even know that came out, and uh, we decided to see it uh, last night. And it was very interesting, I will say to the least. George Miller, even when his movies don't fully click with me, even when they're not, um, you know, a Mad Max Fury Road, or, or the, I think the second Mad Max is the other one that I really love, even when they're not that uh, his movies are always super interesting to me, and I think creatively and, and uh, not creatively, like visually, he is an absolute genius. And and the things that he can do with his movies, I just think he's a very creative person when it comes to his uh, direction. And I'm I'm always interested in what he's making. It's never, um, I'm never not gonna check out a George Miller movie, especially because they're very rare. And they're very, um, you know, they don't come out very often. So I definitely wanted to go and see this. I like Tilda Swinton, and as I said in my, you know, 30 seconds ago, I love Idris Elba. So I, I was just very intrigued by this movie, and it delivered. This was a really, really solid time. Uh, visually, it is beautiful. It is stunning. It is one of the best-looking movies of the year. Probably has my favorite cinematography and special effects and editing all year. I mean, it is phenomenal. 
in that department. George Miller always gets that right, and he always brings in the right people to, uh, f I think, fully flesh out his ideas, and, and this movie might be his best in terms of editing. It is really, really, really good, and visually it is just fantastic. Um, I really liked a lot of the ideas that it was going for. I liked the uh, the narrative structure of it. I liked that it was, uh, you know, like a, told like a fairy tale. Um, I didn't think necessarily it delivered on all of its ideas the best way. I definitely think, one, the ending was a little bit too prolonged and kind of messy. I feel like um, it was trying to say more, like, grander things, and I don't know, it just didn't hit those beats correctly, if that makes any sense. Like it, it didn't um, fully capitalize on the huge ideas and grand uh, metaphors that it was trying to like hit. But uh, in the end, it was still a very entertaining and well-told story. So I, it didn't really bother me in the long run. It was just like an issue that bumped this movie down from being like one of my favorite movies of the year. Because there were moments in this was like, wow, this is great. This is definitely getting on my... My best of the year list. Um, this is phenomenal. And then there were just moments where I was like, eh, they could have um, fleshed that detail out a little bit more. Or, or they could have maybe left that little moment out of the movie. Or uh, maybe that decision wasn't the greatest. Uh, there are just little bits of this movie that kind of add up and pile up towards the end. Where you're just kind of, you're left feeling satisfied, but knowing this movie could have been absolutely phenomenal if maybe there was just one or two more go-arounds with the script maybe changing a few things here uh just stuff like that but in the end i i do very much recommend three thousand years of longing one the two lead performances are great i do think that whoever shot this movie and whoever edited it should be up for an, uh, an oscar nomination which i don't think they will be i, I think this movie will, will definitely be forgotten about which kind of sucks but uh whatever uh i i for me, this movie works so well on a visual standpoint and from like an entertainment value, it is top notch. It's just that some of the story elements and, and some of the, uh, the finer details just don't, don't really make for a satisfying story, if that makes a lot of sense. Still very, very good. I still very much recommend you go see this. And I am going to give 3,000 Years of Longing a strong B+. So yeah, those were the two movies that I saw um, this p past week. Um, not much to say after that. I'm going to go see Barbarian. I might see The Invitation. I don't know. Uh, that all depends. But I definitely want to see Barbarian and a couple other movies that are coming out. September is a huge movie release month for this year, and I'll definitely be uh, seeing a lot of movies then. But uh, yeah, other than that, I have a couple of other non-movie review-related stuff coming. And yeah, I will see you guys later.